You know, I get a, uh, I get faxes all the time, and uh, they're never signed. Bothers me, really bothers me. I know it's part of the electronic age, and people say, well, we send them over our personal computer. Well, that's an explanation, but it's not an excuse. I get a letter from someone, and it says sincerely, and there's a blank space, and then their name is typed. I get very annoyed. I just automatically get annoyed. I don't know why. I love using fountain pens. As you can see, I've got a lot of them. I keep them in, uh, keep them in a wonderful box that I got here. It's got a tambour door, and it opens like this, and the drawer pulls out. I use real ink. These are all beautiful fountain pens. This one is a recif. This one is called the Victory. One of the things that I talk about all the time on a sci-fi channel is that you should operate at the level of technology that best serves the job you're going to do. If you work best with a PC, that's fine. Then use it. If you work best with a typewriter, do it. If you work best writing creatively with a fountain pen in your hand, writing on a piece of paper, then do it. And I got to tell you, folks, a letter is still a letter if it's written by hand. Even if you got the worst handwriting in the world, and mine is not terrific. Nonetheless, when you get a signed letter, you know that there was a human being behind it, not some cold thing that you got off a PC. I got, uh, uh, the reason I'm doing this here, sitting at the, at the, at the table with the, with the pen, because I've got some stuff to clear up, but I got a, uh, uh, I got a call from uh, the editor of Sci-Fi Universe magazine. He said, we got a, uh, we got a hit uh, about, uh, about you and uh, uh, from someone named Crazy Mama. And I said, oh, that's wonderful. Uh, he says, yeah, it's not really nice that uh, America Online makes everybody use an, uh, a pseudonym because it encourages bad behavior. They can hide behind the pseudonym. Uh, and this woman, some doctor somewhere or other, uh, wrote, wrote a really snotty kind of thing. And uh, I, I don't respond to these things usually. I have no, you know, since I don't have a computer or, 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 or a modem, I can't respond. But I decided this time I would. So I handed her her head. Real mean, long. It, it took great joy in writing it. And I wrote it because it was a human being responding to a cold, I'm a coward hiding out behind the, uh, the internet kind of, kind of message. And I, I show you myself sitting with a fountain pen because it keeps you in touch with your hands, with your life. It's like using a watch with real hands on it instead of a digital. These things are things that make you understand that the electronic age still needs to be unplugged every once in a while. I've heard of you before. You're Holmes the meddler. Holmes the busybody. Holmes the Scotland Yard Jack in office. <laughs> <laughs> Your conversation really is most entertaining. If you would. Sadly, at long last, the world's most famous consulting detective, Sherlock Holmes, is gone. Jeremy Brett died. Died in London, September 12th, 1995, of a heart attack. In 41 episodes on Granada Television, Sherlock Holmes was brought more vibrantly alive than ever before. You will be able to lead a better life if you follow the, uh, the process of deductive logic that Holmes mastered, uh, where you observe and can draw uh, intelligent conclusions. Fair and oh, yes, I do remember the case. It concerned an opal tiara. I think it was before your time was. MPI whose number we will flash on the screen so that you can order these when you want, have brought out all 41 of them. They're all in uniform editions now. They run 50 minutes each, no commercials, the same the way they were uh, uh, on, uh, on PBS, except uh, there'll be no breaks for pledge, uh, for pledge donations. Sherlock Holmes as Jeremy Brett. Jeremy Brett as Sherlock Holmes in real life may be gone. But as Sherlock Holmes will live forever in this way, so Jeremy Brett, having played his greatest role, also will live forever. The law is what we live with, Inspector. Justice is sometimes harder to achieve.